Hey guys, so here bringing you another video. Welcome back. Whoopsies. To the <laughs> high rating spectate. Uh, we're watching a gangplank today. Um, basically, I like doing these challenges, spectates or high rating spectates to look at champions that I want to play and what, what what can we learn from them. And I've really not put much time on a gangplank this season, and I do think that's a waste. Um, you know, he is one of my best champions historically. So let's just watch this gangplank. This is one of EU West's best gangplanks. Uh, some people have pointed out he's against Broken Blade, and if that is the Broken Blade, which I believe it is, apparently that's one of the best top planers in the LEC right now. He's playing Darius, watching Gangplank, and the reason why we're watching Gangplank is my biggest struggle area with Gangplank is lane phase. I'm very comfortable on Gangplank in mid to late game. I, I usually do quite well in that time, but I, I'm not very good at Gangplank lane because I've always historically said that, you know, Gangplank's bad in lane phase and you can't lane bully. And every single time that I've said that, people have gone, Huzz, but I watched that this guy and he wins lane all the time. And I, I, that is the thing. I, I will say, I've accepted that now. Like, I do see Gangplank's winning lane phase quite often. And I'm like, how the hell are they doing that? So he's against a Darius, who is a lane bully. Like, one of the biggest lane bullies in the game. Darius is obviously also ru um, rushing, um, also taking Ghost Flash, which is our aggressive combat um spells to keep him on top of somebody and obviously gangplank is not gangplank's running tp flash so this is going to be interesting to see how gangplank can do in lane phase to not get out lay uh, out bullied and also uh you know slight spoiler gangplank's farm in this game is absolutely insane for the time of the game and like i don't even know how he can focus on farm as much when he's like, against the darius but we'll see Abram uh, Tastic, thank you so much for the 14 months of Prime. Much appreciate, much appreciate. It goes, hello, hello, how's, how's it going? It's overall good. Today's been a bit of a weird solo queue day. So um, we're taking a small break from solo queue, recording this match, and then we'll be going back to solo queue after. And who knows? Maybe I'll play a gangplank game. We'll see. Um, but yeah, probably not, but we'll see. So, so far, this has been my experience. The gangplanks that sacrifice mana for Q they can lane bully you know they use they're actively using their q to get the enemy's health but then i then like well then you've got no mana to actually farm and for me getting the farm with your q to get the silver serpents in the early game to me is more valuable but maybe that's wrong it's like that a normal darius in my mind would have gone all in on that you know a level three with a ghost why didn't he go all in? I, I don't think Gangplank would have killed Darius at all in that situation. So that's a bit weird to me that the Darius didn't even go all in on that. He got the E off. He got everything off he needed and then backed away. So that's a bit weird. You know, again, this is a very high rating match. So clearly these top laners are better than me. Yes, it was a big minion wave. True. But still, that generally doesn't really off put a Darius that much in the early game. But yeah. If you look at the minimap, by the way, there's a lot going on in bot lane. It might... its I believe it's actually a 4v4 in bot lane right now. Which uh, is, a, is still quite a modern thing in League of Legends. I played a game earlier today that will not be uploaded. And the enemy team brung five people bot lane twice before like 10 to 15 minutes. All five of the enemies. And it's like, okay, that was fun. <laughs> but yeah. See you later, Celestial. Have a good day. All right, Sheen rush for the gangplank doesn't surprise me at all. Is waiting or tell? Oh, he's teleporting again. Replays, unfortunately, are still bugged. <laughs> they still haven't fixed them. If you look over there, by the way, the frames. Yep, I don't know why they're like that. Uh, they've been like that for a little while, and once again, Riot has not fixed them. <laughs> I I don't know why. There's so many bugs in the spectate, but there is. Uh, Talia, by the way, weirdly, Talia mid. Haven't seen the Talia mid in a very long time, and she actually gets a solo kill. Caitlyn on blue team is gone for now. I presume they come back. But yeah, crazy. Gangplank's building a really big wave here. Um, Udi does get the kill, but then gets traded out to the Lee Sin. Barreling in the bush to hide it. So if Darius like, oh, he has no barrels up, Gangplank can walk to the safety of that bush and then use that if he needed to. And yeah, so, so far, I'm going to be honest... The weirdest thing that to me, like we're just seeing generally okay, clean Gangplank play. He is using his Q quite often on the Darius. But what's weirding me out more than anything else is how passive the Darius is. That's what's weirding me out. Is we're kind of like, here's a ghost. So the one time that Darius is going aggressive is when the jungler's here. But like, 
to me, that's, again, it's not exactly, like, a Darius thing. Like, he's going to get the kill, but you see how easy that was for Darius? Like, Lee Sin practically did nothing. I don't know why in this whole time there's been so much of a passive Darius because he could have killed the guy quite a few times already, I would say quite easily. So, yeah, there's the Caitlyn. Um, so Darius takes the kill lead and probably is going to take over a little bit of farm lead. Udyr going top lane and is actually going to fight the Darius. Tiger Udyr by the looks of it, with then also Phoenix. Darius does hit six, which is bad because... Does he have all... Oh! Oh my god, okay, so they're gonna trade. That was messy, but they do trade. Uh, bad timing, I guess, for the Udyr that the Darius leveled up to six, and he didn't even get his ult off. He didn't have mana, I don't think, to actually get the ult off. But yeah, so that's what I would say. Because I've played this matchup on both, both ends. I play both Darius and Gangplank. When I'm playing Darius, I have absolutely wrecked Gangplanks in the early game or forced them to play insanely passive. And I've played Gangplank and have to play really passive ultimate bot lane for gangplank it's like right here but we can't see it perfectly gangplank gets an assist though so that's good um so yeah that's what i would say to me it's just been a bit weird how passive this darius has been and yes we, we've seen aggression he's died now but only when lee sin was coming top lane and again that lee sin basically didn't offer anything anyway it just showed how easy that darius really could kill the gangplank pops ghost when gangplank's like even where gangplank is right now he's in danger of a darius with ghost so, I don't know. Not sure. That's nice. So, again, dodging the, the E's are very important. And you are seeing the Gangplank quite often, obviously, using a Q to throw at the, the Darius. Obviously, the, the one of the biggest defenses is worth saying against a lane, um, a, a lane champion, a lane bully like Darius, is if you actually get their health low, they have less confidence, obviously, to go on you. So that is where maybe in this specific matchup, or a lot of matchups, and maybe that's what I've been missing on Gangplank for so long, is to actually have an okay lane phase on Gangplank, you actually need to be aggressive. Because then their health isn't as much, and therefore they won't go aggressive on you. Uh, Huzzy's Tagger Bell Order says, 11 months of Prime says, no cannon minions were harmed in the making this resub. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it, appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. So you can see gang uh, Darius is on like under half health, about a third health right now. And really well-timed gank, but is Elise in also here? Gangplank still. Look at that heal. Holy Jesus Christ. And counter ganked, and they will end up getting the kill. So unfortunately, it was actually a well-timed gank by Udir, but it was also, unfortunately for Udir, a very well-timed counter gank by Lee Sin. And that's another kill for the Dunky D. So Farmwise is going in Gangplank's favor right now. Lulu, I don't know why. She's top lane. Oh, the Leeson's still around. Goldwise, 2.6 to 3.1. So Darius has got a clear lead right now. Which, again, I'll say, he should. Like, it, it, honestly, he should have had probably a much bigger lead, I would actually argue. But he should have a lead in lane phase. At least from my experience. So Gangplank, you see there, what was he doing? He's actually running at the Darius on purpose to be within his queue. Um, it is technically a counter to Darius that Dariuses don't really expect people to do because why are you running at a Darius? Uh, but yeah, he doesn't... His Q is a, um, is a line around him, but not on top of him. Um, so yeah, if you get within it, you can actually dodge Darius' Q. But yeah, good farming by the, the Gangplank. And obviously that's what we're mainly seeing is the priority for Gangplank, which is what I prioritize is farm because you are an absolute scaling hyper carry farm is to me the most consistent way of getting gold especially on gangplank for me and that's what we're seeing so he's 20 farm ahead right now darius will catch up a little bit because there are a bunch of a farm here that he's probably just going to queue any second very satisfying but yeah gangplank still you know over 10 uh, farm ahead which isn't bad that doesn't make up for the fact that darius has got two kills but it's not bad um, Build-wise for um, Gangplank, by the way, and this is like kind of another big topic. So obviously in recent history, Riot did an update to Gangplank to give his barrels crit, which was kind of crazy. Um, so there are people that build Gangplank as a crit champion, clearly, but there are also a lot of people that still don't actually build him crit. There's a lot of people that actually build him more bruiser-centric than crit-centric, and that honestly is probably because he does a lot of damage even without going crit. And Bruiser obviously gives you more survivability than the crit build. So it probably is par partially because of that reason. Yes, you might do more damage with the crit build, but you're also 
arguably going to die a lot more too. Um, if you just miss position once with a crit build, you're probably dead. So this is probably why I will say I prefer the crit build when I when I have played it since the update. But yeah, you, you do have to be a lot more careful. So the game itself is slightly in red team's favor. Uh, they do have the dragon, obviously, um, which is Hextech, which is not a bad dragon, by the way. And um, yeah. Yeah, I also wanted to watch the farming. So honestly, the Gangplank is just farming very average. Well, not averagely. He's farming like the way that I expect a Gangplank to farm. But this, to me, it's the bigger issue that I don't know why the Darius is allowing the Gangplank to free farm. This is the thing. These players are better than me, obviously. But I there must be a reason. But like straight up, the Darius should be killing the Gangplank or at least like pressure him off. And the Darius just isn't doing that. The Darius has bought Hullbreaker, by the way. So that's a 1v1 power spike. But that, that's the biggest thing that is like weirding me out this game is the fact that Gangplank is getting free farm due to how passive the Darius is being. Gangplank ult being used in bot lane for the second time this game. Oh, Lee Sin did hit that. Oh, bad flash. Good kick by Lee Sin. And that is going to be a dead Lulu. Lulu going to do her best to try and get the karma. She's flashing away and a free kill for Caitlyn. That was quite poorly played by the uh, friendly bot lane to Gangplank unfortunately yeah i probably do underestimate gangplank's early strength but like i don't think i underestimated to the point that a darius would be a gangplank early like i don't like you guys saw the kill that da darius got on gangplank it was easy it was really easy so i don't know to me it just surprises me a bit but yeah triforce by the way complete for gangplank um, so again, Triforce typically has always been a nice item for Gangplank. So you're getting attack damage, attack speed, health, ability, haste. Uh, you're also getting movement speed. Um, and you're also getting obviously like the Sheen kind of use that you are getting additional damage after using an ability on an auto attack. So it all works with Gangplank really nicely. It's just a typical good Gangplank item. Really nice barrel use there. Again, doesn't have the crazy damage yet. Uh, any chance Riot fixes replays anytime soon, in my opinion? No. Probably not. Um, replays, what people have to realize, it took Riot, God, how many years was it? We we didn't have a replay system in League of Legends for the first many years of the game. Um, because it's there's no profit in actually having a replay system to Riot. Good gank by the Ari. But yeah, there's no profit. There's no direct money that they're getting from having a replay system. So... That's also like if they've got many different projects going on and some of them are new champions or whatever. And that's, the, I don't know if, you know, it shouldn't be the same dev team, but if the coders are busy, you know, the, the programmers who actually program everything, who could fix everything, if they're busy, they're not going to prioritize a replay system. They're just not going to. Also, just say apologies for the camera. Obviously, it's becoming sunny again here in the UK. And this blind has always had like quite a bad gap. I will say with my place, I am getting professional blind people in. They can see, but like they're doing my blinds and I've told them that I want to have a really flush blind, especially in the office. So we don't have these big gaps, but yeah. Anyway, gank coming in, gets the kill on Darius. So very nice. Again, good gank by Udyr. Uh First gank that officially works because obviously the first gank that Udyr did arguably or like was going to happen the least encountered it and Darius had ended up with another kill um some people may obviously ask like do I like Hull Breaker Darius I think people kind of know the answer to that don't get me wrong I know why people are buying is he ulting bot lane again every single ult has been bot lane this game again that doesn't surprise me there's two people in bot lane so you're doubling the chances of doing damage or hitting somebody but um <coughs> oh my god <coughs> my throat <laughs> it's really dry. I forgot to get a drink. Oh, God. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I'm not a fan of Hullbreaker. I know why people are buying it. And here's the thing. People will shout at me going, Huz, it's really cost effective when you're alone. And it's 120% cost effective still when you're grouping. I understand that. But I still think there's better items. Like, I still think getting your Mythic first on Darius would probably be better. I still think, you know... I don't know, getting Sterix is better. Like, I, I just think there's better items. Like, on certain champions, Hullbreaker, with how cost-effective it is, sure, some. But not all. Like, that's why I think it's just gone a bit too far. That's the thing. That's a really bad time death by Udyr, by the way, because Dragon Infernal is available for killing. Are you gonna... Wait, what? 
Honestly, that Darius was going to try and dive, like, straight up. He was going to try and dive the Gangplank then. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. Darius did nearly just kill two people, I will be honest. That was kind of mad. He misplayed it really hard and still nearly killed two people. Gangplank, he was like, that's a weird flash. He flashed to go into the range of Lulu shield, which is smart. Uh, which obviously definitely kept him alive. Oh, hello. It definitely kept him alive, but I don't even know if he was going to die anyway. Oh, nice. Dodge it. Get your thingy. Barrel, barrel. Get on top. Ah, doesn't have enough damage. And yeah, I, I, I was like, I'm a bit weirded out by seeing Talia mid lane. I literally do not remember the last time. Ooh, that was clean. I don't remember the last time I saw a Talia pretty much in my game, let alone Talia mid. Like, yeah. Again, maybe they're a main um, of it, which wouldn't be too surprising. Because, um, again, the people that only play... Well, the people that play Talia, I would suspect are like Talia mains. Darius is walking down the bot lane, which is a bit funky. Hmm. I think they were looking for a play. They got seen and now they're going to go back to normal. So Gangplank, by the way, uh, plated, plated steel caps or ninja tabby boots. And I think I did look at his build a little bit ahead of time. This is something that does really interest me. And this is something that definitely if I play Gangplank soon, I might look to take in my own game because it's just an item that I don't think about. I believe he's building Death's Dance next. And that really makes sense. Like, that's the thing. Like, if you do the crit build on Gangplank, you can go Immortal Shield Bow, and that will give you that little brief, you know, survivability with the shield. You don't have that if you're doing the Triforce equivalent, but Death's Dance is giving you that. So, kind of interesting to, like, as an idea of an item, I do like it a lot. Oh, Darius. I don't know why this Darius is just like kind of just he's kind of vibing but not really expecting to ever get ganked. He dies again and he's kind of just dying quite a lot at the moment because he just doesn't expect to get ganked at the moment, which should he be getting ganked? Well, here's the thing. Anybody in the map right now, can, anybody can get ganked because there's no dragon up. There's no in, there's no Baron. There's no Scuttle. Uh, sorry, Rift Herald. There's nothing. So the junglers right now are free to go wherever they want. And if you're a Darius that they, I believe that red team knew he didn't have any sums up, you are quite vulnerable. So, yeah. All right, grouping is now occurring for red team. They are now going into siege. Ooh, weird Ophelia assault. Doesn't get any hits, but makes the enemy team back away. Ari getting found by the Talia. Oh, the Lee Sin gets charmed. That was a bit weird. And Ari will just survive. Does get out of there. Gets the ignite from the Talia. And now grouping is happening so modern day league of legends is very a ram centric if you will eventually um even pros i saw recently were quoting about that that you know basically you do just lane phase and then eventually group and that's that's the game uh where a little while ago it wasn't like as obvious that um anyway Uda is fighting the darius which Uda is full tank darius isn't and Uda is winning um which is a bit weird. <laughs> but okay. So it's worth knowing, by the way, 19 minutes, the Gangplank is on 170 farm. It's just very clean farm. Like, what I would say, we've we've not really seen, you know, not to sound bad or anything, we've not, not seen anything special, really, from this Gangplank. There's been nothing that I would kind of go, damn, man! There's been nothing. He hasn't even done any triple barrel combos. There's been no real big barrel combos this game. We're just seeing clean gangplank get play and that is sometimes all you need is clean gangplank play to get you to the point that you are then the hyper carry and it, you know that is good that's an important lesson to take so what would i already take from this game by the way this darius i will say i do think played it way too passive but i need to, when i'm playing black gangplank is use my cues more on my lane opponent is like beat their health down a bit so they feel less likely or they the enemy feels less like oh i can go on the gangplank anytime i want because i'm you know if you get them to half health with three cues or something they're less likely to go on you and that's i think quite a big deal and that is something that i don't do is i'll prioritize my cue on hitting some farm in the barrels but then my lane opponent is full health so in the long run i'm actually losing more farm because then i get pushed pushed off the farm if i use my three cues half my mana or whatever to kill my lane uh, to half health my lane opponent 
well then i'm gonna get more farm in the long run because my lane opponent has to play passive instead i will say just runes for gangplank grasp of the undying let me just have a quick look our uh, gangplank ult gets a first assist and that'll probably be that um so yeah he's got grassy undying demolish so that tells me i will say the fact that they're going demolish tells me that this gangplank has got probably a split push play style that was weird <laughs> okay uh leeson doing his best to kill the Ophelios. healed by the Ophelios. leeson going all in for it which could be a mistake is a mistake doesn't get the kill double kill gangplank darius is still top lane and this is what i was also saying i really dislike about whole break whole breaker right now on top laners darius is not a split push champion at all but the fact that he's bought a hole breaker is making that player split push that's what i also really don't like with hole breaker on champions that typically don't normally buy it anyway let's finish the runes demolish bone plating and then revitalize and then second is futures market which is quite standard on gangplank because he is so item heavy as a champion if you can get that little item quicker in the game that is a really big deal on gangplank uh warp tonic which shows that he wants to obviously get a corrupting potion every game and then he's got attack damage attack damage armor so nothing too out of the ordinary obviously runes are designed for survivability with grasp etc but that's the point gangplank gets all of his damage from items and levels later in the game he doesn't need runes um some champions are like that some aren't see you later try roxo but yeah so we're just seeing some very clean farm play you know not the darius here is worth mentioning because obviously he's playing split push darius his farm is good too um and now Bar gangplank is starting baron and this is again the fact that you've got whole breaker darius is making you split push on darius which is not normally what you do so he's bot lane getting a tower so you're going to do baron so honestly i'm happy that we watched this gangplank play because it is it's definitely made me realize i can be a bit more aggressive in lane phase as a gangplank but i will say i do also kind of think that this darius has misplayed this game he wasn't aggressive in the early game and let Gangplank lane for free. And the fact that he's basically split pushing on Darius is giving red team anything they want. Darius is scary in a team fight. If he gets his first reset, he's very scary. If you look at the team, a lot of them are very squishy this game, pretty much apart from Udyr. And Darius shouldn't really focus on, uh, on Udyr. So, yeah. So over 200 farm at 22 minutes. Um, I don't know if we can see... Oh, there you go. First upgrade has got cannon barrage fire rate increases over time. So that is something I'll say in recent year or whatever I've played Gangplank. I, I now do that also. I used to, and I think some Gangplanks still do. I used to do Death's Daughter, the big cannon in the middle. I used to do that first. Honestly, it's yes, it does more damage if you land it. But the, the other one, the increased fire rate, trust me, it's better as your first one. Because if it's a, it's a, if it's a spread team fight or anything, you're actually doing more damage to all the enemies than just one big one in the middle that might hit one enemy. So get the increased fire rate first. Enemy team has been caught sleeping here. And yes, Darius is still top lane. Very weird. They're opening the base, uh, they're opening the base bot lane. They've got no answer it because they're pressuring mid lane as well. They're getting an inhib with literally no answer by the enemy team. And now that they've got that, they can circle back to mid. And Darius is still top. What? Gangplank, and by the way, the other, the benefit of Gangplank going teleport. Gangplank can go back right now, easily fend off this Darius. And if he wants to fight the Darius, he could even try to kill the Darius if he wanted to. I, he's pretty much outscaled him by this point. He can then kill the Darius, which he's just done. The tower's not even dead. And guess what? He can go teleport if he wanted to, to go help his team. And that's exactly what he's doing. So that is also the benefit of taking teleport. Gangplank goes back, kills the Darius, teleports back to go help, you know, the thing. So I will say, look at the Gangplank build. This Gangplank is building Bruiser Gangplank. He's still doing a lot of damage. He does do the most damage in this game, by the way. But it's not crazy damage. And that's because, obviously, he's not gone crit. The crit is the crazy damage. But this is the thing. He might have not gone crit this game because he's against a Darius. Maybe if he goes crit, a Darius could kill him because he's squishy. He's gone Bruiser, and he can still kill a Darius as Bruiser. So very interesting. I've definitely learned a couple things there. If you guys enjoyed, please do throw a like on the video, throw a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Cool down.